Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Clark. We're going to do long division with the standard algorithm. We're gonna try five into 75, or 75 divided by five. And we're using the standard algorithm, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So feel free to follow along on a piece of paper, or if you have these worksheets, you can use them. If you have a whiteboard, and we'll go ahead and get started. The first step is to divide, and we're using this five, because that's the number that we're dividing this into. So this would be like, say I have 75 Pokemon cards and I decide to divide them up amongst my five friends. How many does each friend get? So this is the big number divided into five groups. So when we divide, we're using that five. We start with the seven and then move on. So we're going left to right, like as if you were reading a book. So for step one, I'm just gonna focus on the seven and I'm going to say, what is seven divided by five? And it doesn't make a lot of sense because you know the multiples of five are five, 10, 15, 20, but when we say seven divided by five, we know it might not fit in perfectly, but we're just saying how many groups of five could you make if you had seven of something? And I could make one group of five and there would be some left over, but five can go into seven one time. So we're gonna put the one up there. Now, the next step is to multiply that one back just to see how close we got to the seven. So we're multiplying. A good thing to remember is you're usually just working with the last thing you touched. So if you're thinking, oh wait, what am I multiplying? What am I subtracting? Think about the last thing you wrote. In this case, it was the one. And then I'm gonna multiply it back against the five. So sometimes I like to put a little X there. One times five, coming back down here. One times five is five. So just to recap what we did there, we divided, we said, how many fives go into seven? One time, and then we multiplied it back down. Now we'll do the green. So again, the last thing I touch is this five. So we're subtracting seven minus five, which is two. The next step is to bring down, and there's only one thing left to bring down here, which is the five. And now we're gonna do it all again. So we pretty much used as much of the seven as we could. There were two left over, which isn't a lot to work with, but that's why you bring down the next digit, so now you can do this one. So since we got here, we brought down the five, we're going to start back over at divide, and what are we dividing? The last thing we touched, so the 25. And we are dividing 25 divided by five. Now, you could do the same thing where you could draw 25 tick marks and you could say, okay, how many groups of five can you make? Um, you could also skip count your fives till you hit 25 and then just count how many of those there are. And then another option is to just use your kind of uh, multiplication and division skills. So 25 divided by five. So in this case, five goes into 25 equally. 25 divided by five is five. And we're putting it up here because when you're dividing, that's what we're doing here and this is the answer. So every time you divide, put it in the purple box up top. Okay. Next, we multiply using the last thing you touch. So five times five is 25. And that's just to show that we really did hit 25 exactly, so there weren't leftovers like before. And our last step is to subtract to see if there's anything left over. 25 minus 25 is zero, which means there's nothing left over. All right, so that's how we do our standard algorithm. Let's go through that one more time. So first we did divide. So we did seven divided by five, or how many fives go into seven, which is one. Then we multiplied. One times five is five. Then we subtracted. Seven minus five is two. Then we bring down or brought down the five, and we had a 25 to work with as we started over. So then we divided again. 25 divided by five is five. And then we multiplied. Five times five is 25. Subtracted, got zero, and we know we're finished because there's nothing left to bring down. If you wanted to check your answer, you would do 15 times five and you would get 75. 
So I hope this is helpful for you. Grab some paper, whiteboard, follow along with the rest of these and it will feel super easy in no time.